what caffeine does then is race into your brain. You've got all of this sleepiness at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. You have an espresso because you're trying to power through and finish the report or, you know, the presentation for your sort of your pitch uh, for your deck for your startup company. And that caffeine races in, it latches onto the adenosine receptors and blocks the signal of adenosine. So now your brain was thinking, I'm starting to get tired, it's 10 p.m. But now all of a sudden that signal is blocked. And it, caffeine is like hitting the mute button on your television remote controller. It just mutes the signal of sleepiness. So now you think, well, no, I don't feel sleepy anymore. And here's the danger that even though, well, when the caffeine is in your system and it's latched onto the receptors, that adenosine is still there. It's not going away. In fact, if anything, during the course of the caffeine in your system, it continues to build and build. And now when the caffeine finally gets metabolized and excreted out of your system, not only do you go back to the sleepiness that you had many hours before, it's that plus all of the adenosine sleepiness that's been building up during that time in between. So you get hit with this huge tsunami wave of sleepiness, and that's what we call the caffeine crash.